Hello and welcome everyone. In this video I will show how I've made the African Savanna terrain. I will be covering all steps to make this terrain and I will be using the trees I've made in my previous tutorial. As the first step I'll be using this board of multiplex. On top of this I'll be placing some high density foam which I already cut into shape using a hot wire cutter. Using PVA glue I attach them to the board. When the glue had dried, I made some areas of depth using a hobby blowtorch. I've then used air drying modeling clay to make a transition between the layers. As the next step, I've added some wood filler to the sides and give it a light sanding afterwards. To give the base a first layer of primer, I'll be using this gesso. I've made a mixture of the two for the upper part and then a layer of black to cover the sides. After the primer had dried, I apply a layer of wood stain to the underside and add a few felt pads afterwards. To make the groundwork I apply a layer of PVA glue and follow this up with some fine sand and towel grout. I then make a mixture of the following ingredients and turn it into a paste, which is then applied over most of the base. Next, I've scattered some small stones here and there and worked them in using a wet brush. This is done to simulate dry dirt or clay rather than stones. Thank you. 
to make an area of exposed ground, I've added a few natural roots. I use PVA glue to attach them. I've added a few tones of brown to give the groundwork some color. I first apply some shadow color and give it some light filters afterwards. With the colors applied, I then add a layer of satin varnish to seal them in. To give the small roots some color, I'll be adding an oil wash over them. I've used Van Dyke Brown and Odorless White Spirit to do this. As the next step, I'll be adding some static grass onto the base. To do this, you can use either PVA glue or this grass glue, which I will be using today. I am always a bit skeptical towards products like this, but I actually had better results using this over regular PVA glue. Main reason being is that it dries very slowly and it stays tacky much longer so you'll have a lot more working time without having spots of partially dried glue. For the grass itself, I'll be mixing up static grass in various lengths and colors. Overall, I've tried to replicate the typical savanna grass, which, from what I've seen, is this golden brown and yellow with a little green in it. To apply it to the base, I'll be using this flock box. This can be used as a normal static grass applicator, but in this case I'll be using it in the same way as to make grass tufts with. I first add some of the static grass onto the box. Whenever I hold something over this, it will attract the grass fibers onto it. In this case, the entire terrain piece, but then upside down. Doing it this way, you get a very clean result and also a higher percentage of grass that stands up. I decided to do the grass in several patches, which I gradually build up. I also changed the ratios for the grass mixture here and there for some color variation. As the next step, I will be adding some layering spray over this. As with the previous glue, this one dries slowly, so it's easy to work with. Next, I make a mixture of this longer static grass, using the beige for the largest part and just a tiny bit of green. I place it onto the box and then add it in the same way as the previous layer.
I gave some of the patches a different tone in color and also made some changes in length here and there. With the grass applied, I'll then be adding some of these natural dried grasses, which I've picked up at a local florist. I add this randomly in the patches of grass to give it some more life. As the next step, I'll be adding a splash of color to this grass by adding a light filter of acrylic ink over it. To do this, I'll be using Antelope Brown. First and foremost, because of that name, and secondly, because it's a brown that leans towards yellow. With the grass now finished, I'll then be adding some trees and bushes to the base. I've made these in my previous video, for which I'll place a link in the description. I also added a few branches and twigs, which were leftovers from the trees I've made. As the next step, I've painted the sides with black paint. With the terrain piece almost finished, it's now time to address the elephants in the room. I gave them a repaint and added them onto the base. I had a few more animals lined up for this terrain piece, but since these two are quite big, I chose not to use them. But that's definitely something you could do. That brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you've enjoyed watching it and to see you in the next one. Until then, thank you for watching and take care. Work complete.